It's hard to make out from a distance, but that is the gondola cable dangling down the side of the mountain. This event mirrors last year's event uh, in, a, in a very eerie fashion. So the mechanism, uh, the time, all of it uh, very closely reflects what happened last year. No one was hurt when vandals cut the thick cable in the middle of the night, sending some 30 metal cabins crashing down. We struggle to understand the motivation of an individual who do this. It was 13 months ago that the attraction saw its cable snapped the first time, causing upwards of $5 million in damage. Still, no one has been arrested. After last year's incident, operators beefed up security, adding more cameras and sensors, and they're confident that those changes will help police get the information they need. But this smoke is adding an extra layer of difficulty. I think obviously the smoke will hamper some of the things, but I, I think it's already been put out that the gondola does have CCTV footage. The town stunned that this could happen again. I think it's just a very cowardly act. It's devastating. They've they worked so hard to get it back up and running. More just feel bad for everybody that works up there, right? Like all the jobs that are lost because of it. But maybe no one is disappointed as Gavin Johnston and Haley Stringer. They were supposed to get married up there in a few days. It doesn't seem real to me. I, I, I still can't believe we're, we're having to like replan our wedding for the third time. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, it seems very surreal. Their first plan was cancelled due to COVID, and now Plan B has fallen apart. But just like they aren't letting this stop them, the operators of the gondola vow to rebuild again. We'll take our knocks, but we will always get back up. With even more security measures in place. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Squamish, B.C.